What is up, people? My name is Fudabia. Welcome to my channel. And today I'm just gonna put up a very quick update about my life and I'm gonna share、uh, some little stories with you. My experience in Venice. People often ask me, "Do you like Venice?" And I often just say, "So,、uh, yeah, of course." But actually, I'm like, "No, I actually don't like Venice." And you know why? Recently, I've been running and.、Uh, I don't think it's relevant. So these days I've been running and、uh, cha just challenging myself and learning skateboarding. And yeah, it's fun, but still I need to find a job. That's most essential thing for survival. I need to find a job to support myself to make a living. It's not so easy. I don't know how to do because my Italian is so bad. So I'm at this point where I'm so confused that I don't know if I should go out find a job and or should I stay at home and study Italian first and then go to find a job. I don't know. Leave a comment. Tell me what should I do. I made some videos in German and Italian a little bit. Well, surprisingly, German audience, my fellow German YouTubers have been very engaging and.、Uh, They interact a lot. They leave comments and they they, they talk with you. So I really appreciate that.、Uh, so I, I suppose I I will do more content in German, which can in turn help me improve my German. And also I, I'm doing some vlogs in Chinese, which is not a major pro,、uh, pro project because I know there aren't so many people in China can be able to get access to Facebook, YouTube. They don't watch YouTube. They have their own thing. And people outside the wall just they don't they probably don't care about my content. I really don't expect my Chinese vlog to be a thing. It's just、uh, do it for fun. So I get a little bit traction. It's fun, and I'm I'm gonna keep doing it. I'm not gonna stop it because、uh, you know Chinese is my mother tongue. It's easy to speak for me and. Um, should be fun. I need to practice a little bit because I don't speak Chinese for many years. So come to the stories. I've been robbed in Venice for one, two, three, three times. Three times. How did it happen? Let me tell you. Exciting stories. So the first day I arrived here in Venice, it was、uh, more than two years ago. When the first day arrived, arrived Venice, and I got lost because I didn't get the address correct, and、uh, I couldn't contact my landlord, and、uh, I was lost. I was running around in, the, in Venice, the island, and、I'm、climbing up and down the bridges with the, all the luggages and my camera and a computer bag, and everything is getting heavier and heavier, and my legs are just sore and. And, and hurting and、uh, and you know I I was just I was just、uh, giving up and finally I was、uh, attempting to call my landlord when I turn around and、uh, put my phone and turn around and call him and turn back and found my my computer bag is gone along with、uh, like eight、uh, hundred euro and two hundred two hundred US dollar plus a、uh, tablet and the new brand new phone. So that was a huge loss. So in the first month, I think I didn't pay my landlord. Instead, I had borrowed some money from my landlord to, you know, just to survive. That's the welcome Venice gave me.、Uh, second rob happened in、uh, New Year's Eve. It was it was、uh, a year ago, over a year ago because it's past the New Year. So、uh, last year's last year's New Year's Eve,、uh, my first New Year's Eve in Venice.、Um, I was on my way to my friend's home, and I was early to the party, so I didn't want to show up too early. So I, I thought maybe I should go to the San Marco Square to see how, how it's like. You know, New Year's Eve must be something going on there. It must be very lively and the people celebrating and stuff. So I went there, and on my way there, there was a very narrow alley. You know that in Venice there are tons of thousands of a、uh, millions of a.、Uh, Very narrow, small streets, small alley that can like、uh, allow only one or two people pass it. But that one was、uh, not so small, but you could, you could pass a very、um, a large number of people. But it was very. It's not like、uh, on the main street, so not so many people are there. And there are a group of people there celebrating and、uh, shouting and yelling and like、uh, laughing and everything like crazy. I thought, yeah, 
whatever, I just passed by. But when I walked past them, they started surrounding me and celebrating with me. Hey, brother, where are you going? Let's drink together. Happy New Year, blah, 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 blah. And they started to, you know, you know, getting physical to me. Um, and just taking somebody's, taking a phone to taking selfie with me. And all of a sudden, all the people, like there were 20, I think it's at least 20 people. I'm not exaggerating, it's not exaggerating. It's a group of people, it's not just a, a three or five. It's a, it's a group of people, like 20 people. They just they surrounded me completely and pushed me into onto the wall and started like, a, I know what's going on, they're gonna, they're gonna, you know, search my pockets, search everything. <laughs> I know it's gonna happen, but I could, I couldn't do anything. I was, I, I couldn't move my arms or legs or what, whatsoever. So very quick, they did their job and they started walking off. And I touched my pocket. Of course, it's gone. My wallet, my phone, both gone. So I went after them. I went right after them and asked them. I demanded them to give me my wallet back. Give me my phone back. So first they gave me my phone back and then talk, I um, come on, you, you got my wallet. They, they first they pretend to not to acknowledge, they, they pretend to be, you know. After my insistence, they, they gave me back my wallet and I was, finally, I got my wallet back. This night is done, I can go to party now. But when I opened my wallet, I discovered I thought, I, I knew that they would do that. They took my 20 euro. I had a 20 euro bill in there, 20 euro banknote in there, and it's gone. They took it. Bank cards are all, the, all, all there, but the banknote was gone. 20 euro, just 20 euro, right? And I went right after them again. I said, give me back my 20 euro. I had my 20 euro in my wallet. And they gave me back my 20 euro. <laughs> That was not pretty thrilling. I was I was lucky that they didn't they didn't hurt me. It was like a, a really a, a group of people. It, it was like a, what happened in in Köln in Germany, right? Also, also, it was New Year's Eve, and also they spoke some uh, un unrecognizable language. I know four languages, but uh, what they speak is one of those that I I cannot recognize. It's not European language, I'm sure. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure they are immigrants, not to creating hate, but they are some lost immigrants. They just, they don't know how to continue their life and just started criminal life, you know? Or they just crazy, mad people, angry about the world and started doing sh some shit in, in New Year's Eve. Yeah, enough of that. And the third robbery happened ever happened to me was uh, whatever it was uh, a few months ago. I was working at a hotel, and I worked a four month, and I quit. I quit. I had legitimate reason to quit. The the boss promised to pay me back. It, there was some uh, the company had some uh, financial situation. They, they don't have the cash flow right now, so I said, no hurry. You pay me back whenever you, whenever you can. Okay, I know you, the company is not in very good shape, so I can, I can, I can wait. You hold on to that uh, credit, but that was a huge mistake. You never give credit to your, to anybody. Come on, you don't trust people. You don't trust people like this. That, that's just been done. Now, of course, they don't pay me back, right? That's the third robbery, and the third, third one was. Uh, made me really angry. It was like uh, you, you worked a, a whole month for nothing. And sometimes I, I tell you, I work 12 hours a day for a hotel, a fucking hotel. And, it's, and I thought I wasn't exploited. I thought I was a volunteer. You know what? Fuck you. Yeah, th those are the three robberies that happened to me. Now you know why I don't like Venice. <laughs> Don't you ever ask me again if I like Venice. I'm gonna punch you in your face, okay? Just kidding, I'm not gonna punch you, I'm gonna kiss you. Okay, that's it for today's, v it's not a vlog. It's just, uh, you know, just talking, rambling. Um, 
yeah, that's an update. Uh, hope you're doing fine. If you're in Venice, uh, I'm sure you don't have that uh, bad bad fortune. <laughs> it's it's very rare to happen to what happened to me. It's fine. Come to Venice if you like it. Nobody's gonna hurt you, you know. <laughs> if they're gonna hurt you, call me. I'm gonna kick your ass. <sighs> Okay, that's it, and uh, thanks for watching, and uh, if you like, like it, if you dislike it, dislike it, and leave some comments, and share your experience, what happened to you during your journey, your experience abroad, um, some robberies, some misfortune happened to you ever, I hope not, but if you have, you can share the story with us, and uh, uh, that's it, and do not subscribe, reverse psychology, do not subscribe. <laughs> So obvious. <laughs>